Hi everyone, Renee here, and I'm so excited about this video because we're basically gonna be talking about some of my all-time favorites. It's such a luxury and I feel so fortunate to be able to just choose products based on what I personally love. If it's really effective, it gives results, or if it's just a pleasure to use. That's how I choose the products that I'm gonna use consistently and that I'm gonna be putting on my face. What I'm gonna be showing you today are some of my favorite products, but they just happen to be really budget-friendly. I know budget-friendly is also subjective, so my cutoff price point is $20. Everything here is under $20. Most of these are under $15. I am gonna add prices, but do take it with a grain of salt because one of the reasons why I'm hesitant to add prices in my videos is because they can actually really vary depending on where you look. Some of these are ride or die for me. I feel like there's no compromise in formulas despite being less expensive. These are not watered down, diluted, or full of cheap fillers. Some of them may not have the bells and whistles, but at the end of the day, they're fantastic skincare. A lot of these I have reviewed scattered uh, through past videos, so where I can, I will link down below um, the more detailed reviews. Probably one of the most effective oil cleansers I've tried are these ones from The Face Shop, Rice Water Bright Light and Rich Cleansing Oils. These guys are so seriously powerful. I mean, they just melt makeup on contact. I'm talking long lasting, waterproof. It's kind of like a thin formula that you apply to your dry skin and everything just dissolves on contact. What's really great about these is I feel like these are the perfect cleansing oils for people who don't like cleansing oils. Um, if you don't like that sort of greasiness and you feel like it's heavy or whatever, these are actually very lightweight and not as oily feeling. The light cleansing oil is exactly that. It's about as thin of a cleansing oil as you could possibly find, but ridiculously effective. This is meant to be for normal to oily skin types, although for me I just feel like it, it depends on what you personally prefer. If you want something a little heavier, more robust, then um, definitely the rich cleansing oil is more for you. But it's not, still not as heavy as the DHC, which, you know, I mean, I kind of like the heavier oils. I love luxuriate. It just feels very luxurious on the skin. I don't think the weight of um, these formulas have anything to do with their cleansing efficiency. I would say the only thing that isn't so great about this is, is the scent isn't very elegant. It's got a bit of a fragrance to it, but I mean, it doesn't bother me that much and it's not that strong. And I mean, it's a cleanser, so. Last year, of course, one of my favorite discoveries of last year is the Hamish All Clean Balm. I am definitely a balm sherbet cleanser convert. Out of all the ones I've tried, even the more luxury versions of the Korean sherbet balms, I just still go back to this one. It's still my favorite. Actually, um, the formula has recently been updated where it's now completely vegan. So they've taken out the donkey milk. They just want it to be completely vegan. I just love how effectively it removes makeup. I love the formulation. I love that it rinses off clean and doesn't leave a film on my face. I'm not a washcloth um, cleansing person or I don't like to use any kind of tools when I'm cleansing my face and I don't need to with this. But yeah, I'm sure you're all just sick of hearing me talk about this at this point. For second cleansers, I have a few favorites that are again like ride or die favorites and one of them is this one from Hada Labo, the Hada Labo Goku Jun Foaming Cleanser. I have so much affection for this cleanser right here. It's one of the first times I ever experienced a foaming cleanser that was low pH, barrier protecting, but just so gentle that kind of changed my whole cleansing game. This has a pH of 5.5 to 6 for me, and it basically does all the work for you. There are no foaming agents in the formula. Um, it's The foaming comes from this, the mechanism of the pump and the packaging. You don't even have to work up a lather on your face. The lather is already there and it's so satisfying. This has absolutely no scent to it and it's perfect for all skin types, even sensitive skin. Another second cleanser that you've heard me talk a lot about last year is the Kosar X Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. This is such a great cleanser for normal to oily skin types because it's got the strength and the power. You feel like it's actually cleaning out your pores and refreshing your skin, but again, low pH. It's got a little bit of tea tree, you can definitely smell it, and it's just so refreshing. Great for like really yucky, sweaty days and um, after gym. A second step cleanser that has absolutely saved my skin of the non-foaming variety is this one, CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This has absolutely saved my skin. It's my favorite cleanser available in any US drugstore by far. In fact, honestly, I prefer this to Glossier's Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's actually kind of similar. This doesn't have the, the nice rose scent to it though. It has absolutely no scent whatsoever. This has been so amazing, particularly during the times when my skin is just really sensitive, whether it's from weather, traveling around through different fluctuations of temperature and humidity, or when I just react badly to um, a skincare product. This is actually comforting to use and soothing to use. There's nothing in here that could possibly irritate your skin. In fact, I feel like if your skin is compromised in any way, this will sort of 
even aid in building it back up. This is actually a very hydrating formula. It's got glycerin, hyaluronic acid, but it's also got the ceramides and the cholesterol. This may not be like a delight to the senses to use, but I have to say I enjoy using this because I just love the way it just soothes my skin so much. I won't say that this is the most effective cleanser. This is definitely a second step cleanser. Your oil cleanser has to come first and do the majority of the work. If you're someone who can't stomach just rinsing your skin in the morning and you feel like you need to give it a wash, I think this is a perfect morning cleanser. Many of you may already be familiar with this because it's just straight up awesome. Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence Rose Edition. If we're going to talk about the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence Copycats, this one is closer to that than the Misha. I am only talking about the Rose Edition, which is, in my opinion, different from their regular um, starting treatment essence. This also contains a minimum of ingredients like the SK2, where the Patera is sort of the main star. This only has nine ingredients in it. This is 94% Galactomyces um, ferment filtrate, whereas with the SK2, it's 90%. It also has the additions of niacinamide, glycerin, adenosine, and rose water. That's what makes it the rose edition. Although you can't smell any, in fact, there's no scent to this at all. Whereas, you know, the SK2 one is really quite pungent. Um, there's, there's no scent to this. This, like the other first treatment essences, very thin and watery consistency, which makes it perfect for your first skin. It's just lightweight. It absorbs so quickly, um, prepares your skin for oncoming products. What I love about the SK2 and the Misha essences is that really um, imparts this beautiful glow on the skin. This does exactly the same. This has surprisingly become one of my favorite categories this year and probably one of the most important steps in my routine. My skin has completely changed and normalized just because I finally addressed my extreme hydration needs. I don't have the dryness that I lived with most of my life anymore, and I mean, that's how drastic it's been. So I've talked about this one, which is, again, Secret Key Aloe Soothing Moist Toner. This is one of their Fresh Nature toners. There are about five of them, all of which focus on different skin needs. And this one is definitely my favorite of them all because it just addresses hydration, and it's suitable and beneficial for all skin types. This toner is more suitable for normal to oilier skin types. It's got this wonderful um, lightweight consistency, but it's still very hydrating. I think the thing that worries me most about toners, especially when they're inexpensive, is that you know when their first listed ingredient is just pure water or agua, then usually you just don't know how big of a percentage um, that first ingredient is. I mean, it could be 90%, in which case you're talking about 90% of a formula costs absolutely no money at all. It's free. Most of the time it's not that much. Sometimes it's just like 10%, you know, but you just, you just never know, especially with budget skincare. So what I love about this is it's a concentrated waterless, pure waterless formula. It's in a base of aloe vera, which is infinitely more nourishing and hydrating for your skin. For under $10, it's just really unusual. Aside from the aloe, this has a bunch of botanical extract and hydrators like hyaluronic acid, beta-glucan. It's also got green tea extract in it. This is also free of a lot of nasties. This is quite a natural product. So there are no PEGs, there are no silicones, no alcohol, no artificial dyes, um, and no parabens. There is a slight scent to it, but it's not very strong. It's very slight. It goes away very quickly. And you know, it's not unpleasant. This is really great for layering. You can use this for the seven skin method and you will not feel any stickiness. Um, it won't be heavy. In fact, it may not be hydrating enough for drier and more dehydrated skin types. Even though the hydrating toners I use tend to be a little more viscous than this and a little heavier, um, I love decanting this into a spray bottle and I use this as a mist all throughout the day and it's just gorgeous. Another hydrating toner that I think is fantastic, particularly for normal to oilier skin types, is this new discovery that I, is just blowing my mind. It's from Isntree Green Tea Fresh Toner. This one I've been using in the last month and I'm just so impressed. This is 88% green tea extract, which hello, it's full of hydrators. This is kind of like the antioxidant toner of my dreams. This has hyaluronic acid, centella asiatica, aloe vera. Um, it's also got bioflavonoids in it, licorice, and a whole bunch of superfood extracts. This is a very lightweight, watery toner. It's, it's a tea toner. There's no viscosity. It's liquidy. This has no added fragrance to it. It smells like tea. It smells like brewed green tea. There are no essential oils in here, no animal products or byproducts. I use this as a mist throughout the day as well. And when I do, it just gives my skin a really beautiful glow, but it's not heavy at all. In fact, I feel like it even sort of balances things out a little bit. 
This is such a natural formula. I could probably drink it, but I won't. If you have normal to dry skin, if your skin is really dehydrated and you're looking for a substantial amount of heft in your hydrating toners, then, you know, I talked about the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Toner in my last video. These are the kind of toners that deal with any kind of surface dehydration. So if you have any uneven texture or flaky skin, this just pastes it all down. It's actually the miracle cure for when you're trying to apply makeup on really dry skin, hyaluronic acid. Of course, there's the Hadalabo. These are my ride or die. I think in terms of texture, um, the Hadalabo Premium is more similar to the Isentree. This is a little more lightweight, but this is very powerful in that it's got three to four different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid. So it really works not just on the surface of your skin, but even below the surface, which just helps in building the overall strength of your skin. And of course the Pyongyang Yule Essence Toner, which is just a subtle powerhouse. I feel like when I'm using this, I'm putting medicine on my skin. It's not fancy, it's not flashy, it's just very subtle, but it is so super concentrated. This only has seven ingredients in it. 91% of this formulation is astragalus root extract. Astragalus root is very common in traditional Asian medicine because it is like ginseng in that it's one of the most nutritious roots. Topically, it's commonly used to calm down inflammation. When it comes to acids, budget or not, I really love the ones from The Ordinary. I feel like their approach really aligns with my personal beliefs with acids. I feel they're very concerned about um, the, the potential irritation and damage that acid use can cause on your skin. This glycolic acid 7% toning solution is one of, in my opinion, best products in The Ordinary. It's wonderfully gentle, but it's effective because I can feel a little bit of the tingling. There's no redness, there's no sensitivity afterwards. I actually find this quite hydrating. If I do use an acid toner, it's always the step immediately after cleansing before anything else, any other skin treatments. This is a gentle exfoliant that with regular use just keeps my skin really smooth, soft, glowing, and bright. Just no dullness, which is good. A few times a week, this is really all the exfoliation my skin needs. As an acid serum, I also really like their lactic acid 5% and hyaluronic acid 2%. This is different from the toner in that it's a serum and it uses a gentler acid, the lactic acid, which has a larger molecular size. So it can't get deep into your skin causing irritation. I feel like this is again, one of those with regular use. It's a slow but steady worker. When using this, my skin definitely feels glowier and brighter than when I'm not using it. Last year, I went through a phase where acid serums were my thing. I think this year I'm going back to acid toners again. I find it so difficult to find a serum that budget that I actually want to put on my skin that is under $20. But that's where this is such a special product, the Buffet. This is a peptide serum which makes it fantastic for like for signs of aging and graceful aging. It's got the peptide complexes and technology that has been proven to be effective at keeping the skin plump and youthful and firm and yeah. It's also got 11 amino acid complexes, probiotics, the hydrators. I love the application of this. It's wonderfully spreadable. It absorbs quickly. It dries quickly. It's, you know, just an amazing serum. As far as vitamin C serums go and retinoids, I have more detailed videos for that planned. Thank you for your patience. Um, but I will say that the ones in the ordinary, again, for their price, are just kind of outstanding. Um, I think it just depends on which one you want to use. And that is a separate video. This I'm so excited about. It's such an amazing find. I feel like when it comes to just plain pure oils, um, you can still find budget oils. I mean, The Ordinary has great budget oils. I love their Marula, their Rosehip, but what's really difficult to find budget and good are the oil serums. Those beautiful oil blends, things like this tend to be really expensive and the ones that are budget and the ones that you find in the drugstores always they're just full of fillers they're full of um caprylic triglycerides and just things that uh don't make it so pure or the consistency isn't great i don't want to put it on my face but i feel like the oil blends were always sort of like a luxury product until i found this this is from physicians formula bright booster oil elixir this is such an impressive oil serum. I am in love with the blends of oils in here. And plus 97% of this is organic, which is usually something we're used to paying a premium for. So it's amazing. 
Oil serums is probably the category of skincare that I might be the most obsessive about. This is mainly camellia oil, which is one of my top favorites. It's a dry oil, so it's not heavy. It's sort of more balancing, but it's also full of antioxidants. It's the oils that geishas used. So this also has sunflower seed, argan, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil. It's got one extract in here, which is the rhodiola rosea uh, root extract. It's an antioxidant rich extract that is just fantastic for your skin, great for reversing signs of aging and also balancing out oil. This is great for all skin types, but a lot of the oils in here make it fantastic for normal to oily skin types. It's a nice thin oil, but don't let that fool you because a little does go a long way. If you use a little too much of this, it will be greasy on your skin, but it is otherwise thin and it absorbs quickly. It's just really lovely. So let's start off with a moisturizing gel. We'll go from the lightest moisturizers to the heftier ones. This is Benton Aloe Propolis Soothing Gel. As far as this category of moisturizing gels go, this has got to be one of my favorite ones. It is also the least expensive. I actually like the packaging for the smaller sample because it's it's a pump and it's kind of it's kind of cool. It look, it feels more high end than this. This 80% aloe, 10% propolis extract. It is so soothing, super hydrating, and hydration that just stays there for a long time. And it's actually moisturizing. It's cooling. It's refreshing. It's just such a lovely moisturizing product especially if you have very oily skin you can just layer this under sunscreen or you know makeup and it's still really nice for normal to oily skin a great oil-free moisturizer is one you've heard me talk about before it's the one from kosarx this moisturizer is one that came as such a big surprise because i usually do not go for oil free but this is so hydrating and it's hydration that stays on your skin all day all night like if I use this at nighttime, I wake up in the morning and my face feels really plumped out and volumized. The very first ingredient in here is birch tree juice. It's also got hyaluronic acid. It's got vitamin B5. It's just a trio of like super hydration. It also has tea tree, which sort of lightens everything up and makes it just super refreshing. Great lightweight moisturizer, wonderful for layering or stands completely great on its own as well. If you've never tried the skincare from Muji, I suggest you do. They've got a few different lines addressing different skincare concerns and needs. They have a balancing line, they have one that's for um, maturing skin, and they also have this one which is for sensitive skin. And I love this line because it is actually perfect for all skin types. All the products within this sensitive skin line do come in different weights according to what you need or prefer, but also it's like high performance low price. One of my favorite products in their line is this moisturizing milk. I got the high moisture version. There are three different versions. One is light moisture, one is regular, and one is high moisture. So the sensitive line contains no skin irritants as would be expected. This has squalane, amino acids. It's got skin soothing ingredients, olive oil. It's got hydrating ingredients. There are antioxidants in here and it's got a little bit of grapefruit oil. So it's just got a teeny tiny little um, happy scent. This high moisture version does have the addition of jojoba oil and vitamin E in it, and it's just so beautifully buttery and moisturizing without being heavy. The light version is like an emulsion that really softens and moisturizes your skin. The original version reminds me very much of the Hadalabo milk. This version, however, has the same kind of lightweight, sort of almost gel-like consistency, really similar to these two. Obviously, it doesn't have all of the you know antioxidant ingredients and the luxurious ingredients, but if you're just looking for the texture and the lightweightedness and the moisturizing effect, then actually reach for this a lot. As beautiful as the ingredients in this formula is, the fragrance is really overwhelming. Um, same effect, no fragrance. Skin feels just as moisturized, just as velvety. Yeah, I mean, I reach for this more. Awesome. Another moisturizer that I find to be awesome, incredible price, is this one from The Ordinary. It's their natural moisturizing factors and hyaluronic acid. It absorbs well on your skin. It sits under makeup really well. Their main goal is to prevent transepidermal water loss from your skin by mimicking the components that are already present in our own skin barrier. So these components are amino acids, triglycerides, lipids, ceramides, hyaluronic acid. These are what's called the natural moisturizing factors and is ultimately what our skin needs to be healthy and strong. This is not a lot of product. It comes in a tiny package. It's one ounce each, but even if you bought three of these, it will still be under $20. This is basically a less expensive version um, that's under $20 of 
some of my favorite French pharmacy brand moisturizers like La Roche-Posay, Tolerian. So an eye cream that I actually really like is this one from 100% Pure. It's their Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream. This is a, a super lightweight eye cream. So if you need something a lot heavier, then um, this will be too lightweight for you. It's almost like a gel, but it is a cream. But what really stands out, actually two things stand out. One is it has a scent of chocolate, which is just simply lovely. But more than that, I feel like it really helps puffiness. It's got the caffeine and it doesn't weigh your skin down. So it's not gonna create milia, it's not heavy in that way, but I feel like it really helps with the puffiness. I think this, in combination with the caffeine um, serum from The Ordinary, it's a great combination. And this is so nourishing for your skin under your eyes. It's got a base of aloe vera and rose water. It's also got rosehip oil. It's got a lot of nourishing plant extracts in here. This is also vegan. This has the coffee. It's got so much antioxidants in it. It's got green tea. It's got vitamin C. This is, this is just a very robust, robust and nourishing eye cream all packed in a super lightweight formula. So that's it guys. These are some of my favorite budget-friendly products, um, all under $20, most under 15. Thank you so much for watching everyone and until next time I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye!